welcome back to Planet Coaster Part 2 um, of our amazing series. I mean, I should say Episode 2. Um, yeah, so welcome back to Planet Coaster. Um, here we are back into Adventureland, is what the name we've come up with, um, or I have. Um, so yeah, um, we, here we are back in Adventureland, and we're just, you know, working on the rock formation and uh, you know, um, we'll be working on this pl uh, plaza, um, on the first few parts of it, um, we'll just be working on the rock work first, which is what I usually do, using deciduous, alpine, and the grassland rocks together to create a nice, uh, variant, variant of, uh, colors and shapes, um, and then we'll put in all the jungle plants and, you know, all the buildings that we need, um, which I do go ahead and add uh, some uh, a toilet in the front, and then with a few of the building design, um, and then also we get started a little bit on roads. Um, we are going to do a little bit of a parking lot, uh, as this is a realistic park. It is a high budget park, like Disney or Universal, um, and Universal is built in 1990. Uh, with the one in Orlando, Florida. Um, it's really quite fascinating. And, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, here we are building it. Um, you know, putting all these little rocks in. Um, putting the plants in as well. Um, yeah. So, we're just going to cover the whole plaza up um, with nice rocks. And, um, you know, finish it all off. Um, yeah, I am very excited about it. Um, so, um, I really do like these green bushes. These bushes save me, like, save me so many times. It's amazing. Um, last episode, um, thank you guys for all the support. Um, that was amazing. Uh, I got so much support from that. I, it was incredible. Um, I am so thankful, guys. Um, I've never had that good of a start for a first of a series um so thank you guys for the support and continue it um because i would love the continued support um as i grow into a bigger youtuber um another thing is um some things about my channel um as i'm working on these palm trees and uh, you know keep working on this plant work but uh my channel has been growing uh very fast recently um well, according, <laughs> in, like, my terms of just, you know, you know, like, just growing. Because, I mean, I've never really experienced any growing of subscribers because I've never had YouTube. Um, so, yeah, I, like, I'm growing fast. Um, just reached uh, 64. Um, so I'm very excited. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, yeah, I... I'm really thankful, and I really want to create this amazing community with you guys. Um, it, it really means a lot to me. Um, yeah, and I can also, like, uh, I will be releasing, if you want to, like, get in, like, a few, like, behind-the-scenes stuff, um, and, you know, like, teasers of next episodes, um, check out my Discord down in the description. I will have, like, a little teasers of pictures, um, every so often at the beginning of episodes, um, for, like, on Wednesdays, I'll have little teasers. Um, but yeah, um, thank you guys for keep on supporting me. Um, I really do like it. So, yeah. Um, another thing about the park, um, the park is, a lot of people have been asking, um, maybe not on YouTube, but, um, in, like, in Discord, um, like, what are the plans for the park? Um, where are you going with this? Um, and, I mean, I should have been more open with that, um, I am sorry that I didn't say, talk about that. Um, so, let me talk about it now. Um, so how it's done is that, um, the park will be high budget, like Universal and, um, Disney, um, very back lots, uh, lots of, uh, you know, cool, like, studio stuff, um, as I do not have the studios pack, so I cannot fully do that, um, as I would like, um, and then, uh, 
the other thing is a few areas that I have ideas for, um, <laughs> which, funnily enough, um, I have written in my journal. Here it is. So, Adventure Park, or Adventure Land, um, as it is known by in the present tense, as we move on, because um, this will be like, because you could imagine this as like a park that's, you know, slowly building up, like, let's say, you know, Disney, they're building the, uh, the Star Wars Land, in, uh, right, right now, at least, on um, the time of the recording, um, is that, like, Star Wars is making Star Wars Land, or, Disney is making Star Wars Land, and they have, like, all these, like, construction cranes, and so we're basically doing that, you know, without the, all the construction stuff, but we're building it, like, so it slowly goes on, um, so, you'll, I'll talk to you about, like, what I mean, like, just between the differences between Adventure Park and Adventure Land, um, there's a, sort of, like, a difference between it, so I'll explain it in a second, um, so the different areas I have ideas for, um, which I have not told you, any of you yet, um, is Pirate Land. It's gonna be filled with ships, has gonna, it's gonna have a lake, um, you know, harbors, British soldiers, um, pirates, so on, so on, so on, you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean ride, like, we're gonna have a coaster, um, probably a swinging coaster that goes through it all, maybe some caves with some treasure, and... Yeah, um, you know, just having fun with it. Um, cause this park is entirely about fun. Um, I actually did realize that I messed up there, so I had to re do that, and now I do that. Um, so yeah, Pirate Lands, like Pirates of the Caribbean, um, sort of thing. Um, the next one would be Indiana Jones. Um, Indiana Jones is, like, you know, like the temple and, you know, traps, um, idols, fast coasters, um, sort of like the, if you've ever been to Universal Orlando, um, it has the mummy, um, which is a great coaster, it's a bit scary, um, at least not for me, but for some other people, um, but it's a great coaster, and it has a lot of, like, dark, uh, areas, and, like, you know, a little bit of dark ride of it, aspect to it, and, you know, it's, we probably use, like, the torque for it, um, it does go backward uh, at least once, I think. So, yeah, that area would be pretty cool. We'll probably do some right skins as well in that area, because that'd be pretty easy to do with some temple stuff. Um, the next one is a, a temple sort of land, um, more like Aztec, Aztec and Mayan. Um, so that'd be really cool to do. Um, cause I do want to do, uh, some Aztec and Mayan, you know, temples. Um, cause I feel like that'd be, you know, really nice. Um, and I do want to do one other area that I will not be sharing yet. Um, just for that little bit of secretness to it. Um, but, uh, I do, will share another idea I have. Um, I will wait a little bit for this, because I don't know what the next DLC, or, um, well, or, yeah, I don't know into the DLC is, um, until later. Um, yeah, so I, like, I, I'm thinking that I might do, um, a water park. Um, so, if you've ever watched Quali Beach, but I'm expecting most of you have, um, Quali Beach had a water park, so we would do our own, uh, venture twist to it, um, we'd make our own water slides, of course, and, um, you know, build it up. So, yeah, I mean, I think this park is gonna do really well, um, I really do love all the support, like I say again, it's very, you know, I'm saying it again and again, but I really do love your support, guys. Um, this is always what I've wanted, having a great community, um, you know, just having fun with you guys. Um, but the, the one thing is, um, as I've been, I was working here, um, I decided to put in a parking lot, and I do see how that's so glistening, and I'm just like, not right now, I'm like, oh my gosh, why did it make it so bright black? Like, it's like a basic shape, basically. Basic shape. Um said basically um 
<laughs> if there's like someone out there that like sorry I've called the topic so many times, but if someone's just like um has like a little counter when we finish the series of just how many times I say basically, um that'd be hilarious. Just like basically ding <laughs> Um but yeah. Um so we are gonna be make a a part a parking lot, um, which will be my first time ever making a parking lot, which isn't very exciting, but it is quite funny. Um, I was going to try doing it here, and I was just like, it's probably not going to be exciting. Um, so, yeah. Um, we will be doing uh, the way the American way, the American drive is. So if you're British and you're very confused why I'm having people go straight to other lanes, it's because I'm American. Um, just to get that out of the way, because I know people might be like, oh, you got it wrong. I don't know. Um, just in case, so that doesn't happen. Um, yeah, so here I am, just, you know, making like a little buffer zone. Um, I saw so that some British parks, uh, sorry about that. Um, sorry about this little part. I had to do something real quick. Um, but, yeah, so, uh, at least in America, we have this, like, little, uh, when we get to a crossing, we have, or an intersection, we have these little, like, white blocks, um, I don't know what you would call them, um, like, they're just there to, like, stop them, like, I literally don't know what it's called, um, uh, it's like, it's a weird name, I don't know, it's, it's probably just called, like, blockers or whatever um but yeah um so i actually do add these little like cylinder cones here um i thought that was pretty cool to uh, give that cool aspect that it's uh that cars might drive through here and they can't drive through the park i mean if they do they'll probably get wrecked um so um here i try making a custom roof and fail horribly uh, because that was my second time making a custom park. I, my voice just cracked. I apologize. I've been yelling all day. Um, but I tried to make a custom park. And it just didn't go well. Like, it, it just... It, it was too straight, one. Um, I didn't really have much experience with it. So, it was really new to me. Also, it was entirely off-angle. So, I'm literally just sitting here... Um, like, trying to figure out if it's angled or straight. I can't figure out, because it's so... It's like, a, it's got to be, like, two degrees off from being a straight line to the... Or parallel, I should say, to the building. Which really frustrated me. Like, holy cow. Just, why? Um, but, yeah. Um, I am pretty, like excited to be challenging myself because this park is all about challenging myself and you know exploring new ideas because i've never done a custom roof before um as you can see by the the black the red and white um and green or no the red and yellow and orange that you see below um that was my first custom roofing it turned out well luckily i mean it could have gone horribly so this whole park is about trial and error and learning new things i mean that's what most of we here, most of us are here for. Um, so, yeah. I mean, if if you think that like something looks horrible, let me know, cause like I really want to improve. Um, and it, like, if you have any suggestions, if I do something wrong or if it looks terrible, let me know, cause I I truly truly want to be. Uh, improve and I want people to critique me so I can actually improve because if you don't tell me hey that kind of sucks well don't well don't say that for one um, say like hey um, that doesn't look right you should try it again that's helpful if you just say that sucks one that's not helpful because I don't know what you're saying by that and I don't know what the definition of sucks mean of that thing. Um, so yeah, <laughs> definitely let me know. Because 
I'm I'm totally new to this like YouTubing business. I'm totally new to Planet Coaster, um, time lapsing, and um, yeah, like it, I'm entirely new to it all. Um, I do realize that the big sword is on top of there. Um, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I mean, most of us are here to challenge ourselves because Planet Coaster is literally. Oh, uh, I I can make an apple, make an apple. Um. Oh, I want to make a elephant. Make an elephant. Um, you know, like, you can build whatever you want. Like, there is no limits, um, to this game. <laughs> Which is funny because No Limits is a, a program that makes roller coasters. Uh, so that's a cool reference. If you guys don't know what No Limits is, it's a pretty awesome thing. Um, uh, I almost caught it. I didn't, though, sadly. Um, but the, it, it's really cool because, uh, it's, because you really need to push yourself. If you don't push yourself, you won't improve this, this game. Um, it's just a fact. Um, cause, I mean, if you don't, it's just like, all right, cool, I did something. And you keep doing that thing. You don't get to learn anything new. You don't get to do anything new. So, yeah, I really want to push myself in this park. I really, really, truly, um, just, you know, want to get through this whole park and, you know, learn. So, if you guys, like, if any way you guys can help me, just by saying, hey, you're doing a great job on this uh, video, or, hey, this series is awesome. Like, any support, guys, is amazing. And I know I'm saying, like, this so many times, but it's really true. Um, so, yeah. Um, another thing is we do, I do have, um, a lot of rock work in this episode. Um, we will be getting into more buildings next time. Um, a pretty exciting one, um, as I've already started recording for the next episode. But it's pretty exciting how amazing it turns out, um, so far. Um... The, I mean, I might as well go on to it because we might. We I think we cut off. Uh, we cut onto it a few seconds. Um, but before I continue, um, and continue this area, um, literally these rocks are amazing, and we need more of them because like I want bigger shapes and smaller shapes and you know all kinds of shapes because I, I just want more rocks. Um, like, I literally, can we just get a DLC for, like, 300 types of rocks and plants? I, I would do anything to buy that, like, please, <laughs> we need more rocks. Um, um, you might disagree and say, we have enough rocks, but I want more rocks. Um, especially different kinds of rocks. Um, uh, some of the things we're lacking is grassland small rocks. That's a little sad. Um, I really do want smaller grassland rocks um so um this toilet block is so frustrating oh my gosh this literally took me like at least like 20 minutes to f like yeah it was terrible um the terrain was bad it, like the train wouldn't go f and like fix and it was a mess like i don't know like it's just so frustrating um yeah also um, we do get to f finish a little bit of, um, I guess you could call it the entrance weenie. We will have more of a park weenie, um, because you can't see it from the entire park. Um, so, yeah. Um, I do actually test, uh, the camera for, uh, uh, Planet Coaster, because I forget what it is, and it's to get to cam. If you guys don't know that, it's T-E-G-I-D. C-A-M to get cam. Um, it allows you to see in peep view and not be able to go above that. So, it's pretty nice. Um, it's a little bit of a cheat code. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm just building this up to hide the back. Um, bamboo is really just a savior in this entire game. Because it, it hides so much. Um, and I, I'll probably go back in and do the back lot stuff. And, you know, finish all that up. Um, yeah, so I think I, by here I realize that it's off. Do I realize it? I don't think I do. 
um, on the bathrooms, uh, on the train. It's, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, but, uh, the, the, the part, so far, it turns out really well. Um, earlier I was working on, uh, the, the park entrance and, um, on the turnstiles, um, which you'll see in the next episode, um, after next Saturday. I'm just doing every Saturday we get a Planet Coaster video. Um, if you guys want more, let me know and I'll try to get more out. Um, it's pretty hard for me to do that, but I'll try. Um, but, yeah, the, like, I only get out th uh, an episode a week, and, uh, I was working on the turnstiles earlier today, and, uh, turnstiles, I think, turned out pretty good. Um, I, I don't know, um, yeah. Um, these bathroom signs are super tacky, and I, I, I'm gonna get rid of them later. Um, I'll get rid of them by next episode, it's, they're so tacky. Um... And I really need better things to put on this. Um, probably gonna change what I've already put on it. Um, but yeah. So. Here I am just putting some uh, barrels and crates and, you know, everything I can imagine onto it. Um, yeah. I was just spent, like, trying to train that and it just wasn't working. So here I am just trying to fix it. It's so stupid. Like, Planet Coaster, what did you do to the settings? Like, something happened. They did something to the tools, and it's just really dumb. So, yeah. That also might have been just me not leveling it out correctly, and that's not correct either. So, I have to go back in and do that again. Um, yeah. It's quite frustrating. Um... So here I am. I was trying to put in a like a little person um, that you usually get in uh, uh, people like um, what are they called? They're like entertainers. There we go. Um, the entertainers. Uh, I was hoping you'd get one in there, like a little guy, like welcome in and like get your picture in front of the uh, uh, arches. Um, but that that didn't work out because path grid is too big, which I'm bad about. Um, so, and here we are getting onto the main part of the video, um, the Hollywood sign, uh, I mean, that's what I would like to call it, um, it's not really saying Hollywood, it actually says Ventureland, um, actually, talking about the Hollywood, uh, sign, Hollywood sign was actually, um, interestingly enough, built in 1923, six years before the Great Depression, and about, I think it was ten years after, uh, the film industry began, um, like, fully began with, you know, the whole shipping of movies and such, um, but when a Hollywood, uh, the Hollywood sign opened, um, uh, it had Hollywood land on it, um, the thing was, like, a few, a few years later, it, the light, like, ran out, um, and it just didn't work as well, um, so they decided to get rid of it, and just have Hollywood instead of the land sign. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, we are going to incorporate this little bit of history into it. Because um, I do it. I enjoy history. Um, so, I mean, you guys should as well. Uh, so we're going to put that into the park. If you're like, what? How will you do that? Well, um, uh, I will have the Adventure Land sign. Um, with the land sign, every episode will slowly degrade it. Um, so over the time, it'll just slowly get worse and worse and worse and worse in condition. And then at the end, at the end of this uh, entire series, we'll have it, like, you know, little pieces of wood everywhere, like, plants overgrown the entire sign, and, you know, of course the venture area, the venture part, will stay, um maintained but they don't really care about the land sign because they actually changed the name maybe like um the history of venture land um the people changed the name a year after its opening so they decided not to maintain the land sign um which is why they only maintain the adventure um part um which is really sad for them to leave that out um 
uh, I am just, uh, if I've just come up with that history. Don't, like, actually think that's the actual history of an actual park. This is an entirely made-up park. It is not a real park. Um, I want to make sure everyone knows that. Um, and this is, actually, um, someone mentioned that, uh, like, did you get this inspiration for the name, like, in, from Universal? And I was like, what do you mean? And they were like, y you know, like the Universal sign that says, uh, I mean, the Universal area that's, a uh, uh, Land of Adventure, or Islands of Adventure, I think it is called. Um, and I was like, wait, oh yeah, like, I didn't actually realize that. Apparently, <laughs> I didn't, I actually came up with that name entirely by myself. I didn't realize that that was Islands of Adventure and I had Universal thing. <laughs> if this was a real park, Universal would be all over me. Um, actually, that's what Geekism said er, uh, earlier. Um, but, yeah. So, here I am. I finished the Venture uh, Land sign part. Um, which is pretty exciting. Um, I'm pretty glad to get that done, um, so, yeah, um, yeah, so, actually, um, uh, the, like, what I'm building right now is just putting in the rocks, like I always do, I put, always put in the rocks, um, so, but, yeah, uh, yeah, like, it's just really cool how I can, uh, do, like, all this, like, let me rephrase that. Um, it's really cool how this turns out. <laughs> I was like, this is really cool. I like my work. Like, that didn't really make any sense, but, um, uh, the rock work is amazing, and the plant work is amazing as well, and, um, I do, I actually do realize that I forgot cinematics, so I do apologize for that. Um, in the next episode, we'll do a, a live play at the beginning, and then we'll go into time-lapsing. Um, but, yeah, the adventure sign, um, we have, you know, all these rocks, and we have some water running down it, um, we have awesome spotlights, um, not, uh, not the rotating ones, just the regular ones that came in the vanilla game, um, so, yeah, um, here I am, uh, putting in this, uh, the supports, um, so, yeah, that's pretty exciting. Oh. oh, sorry, I'm very tired, um, it's pretty late at night right now, um, so, but yeah, the supports are pretty cool, um, but, yeah, gonna sip up my water, excuse me guys, alright, um, so here I am, just finish up the supports, giving some more supports to the A, as it is a little bit wider than everything else. Um, and let me also look. Okay, so actually, the world's first tinted motion picture. So um, basically, the first uh, s movie to actually have the reel moving through it um, was actually in 1895, um, which is quite interestingly enough. Um, and about I'm trying to think I'm trying to do the math like in my head um oh it's 122 years ago so that's a little bit of history for you um might be 123 um and uh, actually the pretty cool and um uh Annabelle Moore was actually the actor or the dancer in it <laughs> so yeah and it's the first movie was basically um, I think it was the Man on the Moon. Um, wasn't it? I was, I'm pretty sure it's Man on the Moon. Um, yeah. The, and also the world's, uh, earliest surviving movie, or mo motion picture film, um, is, uh, the Road Hay Garden Scene in 1888. So... It's literally, uh, it's alright, so funnily enough, it is only 2.11 seconds long. Only that. But it's still considered a movie, somehow. I'm not sure in what realm, uh, people are having, uh, 
two seconds long of video movies, but that seems like a pretty good film. <laughs> um, and it's directed by a French inventor as well, so it is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, here I am just putting in some textures of the wood, um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I like how we go from uh, Adventureland sign to Hollywood sign to make films for films and I mean it's pretty cool it's pretty cool history um here we are um just working on just you know texturing the whole sign because I really want to get that texture right um yeah so yeah uh so if you do have any other ideas for any other uh, areas in the park um let me know I would love to know any of your ideas, and I would gladly welcome any of them. Um, yeah. So, here I am. Just putting in the A. And then, uh, you know, texturing the whole sign as well, still. Um, just making sure I'm recording there, because I do not want to lose any of this content. Um, so... Um, also, I did get to be able to get this a little bit longer for you guys. Um, I am happy to do that for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that as a little bit of a longer video. Um, yeah, so I do move the lights so they're not, you know, obviously sh uh, in the middle of, <laughs> you know, <laughs> massive light. Um, but, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Actually, um, since we're still on the topic of movies, um, the, the Wizard of Oz and, and Gone with the Wind, which are both great films, Wizard of Oz is, you know, if you don't know Wizard of Oz, come on. Everyone knows what Wizard of Oz is. Um... You know, off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of all. But the first uh, hand-colored um, film was actually in 1902. Um, and it's actually, you know, that was the only way they colored it. It was delicately coloring it every single frame, which is really hard. Because um, I did watch uh, all of Crash Course's uh, film history, which is pretty good. Um... And, uh, yeah. So here I am just putting in the rocks still. Um, I actually do enjoy how the lights hit at some specific angles, or different angles, I should say. Um, but, yeah. And I start moving down this little bit of a pond, I guess you should call it. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, let me... Uh, let me do something. Um, so yeah, I'm still working on this. Um, if you haven't seen my start of fail, I see. <laughs> um, yeah. So let me do something real quick. All right, so um, I tried coloring these like uh, wood pieces because it's pretty nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, sorry for going on the Discord so much. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'm working on this. Uh, oh my goodness, how many times do I go on? Just um, so but yeah. It is pretty fascinating, um, uh, like all of Hollywood's history, and I really do want to implement this history into the series and into the park as well, because, you know, that little bit of history. Holy cow, what the heck is wrong with me? Just sh stop going to Discord, idiot. Um, yeah. Sorry about that editing. <laughs> Still not an expert editor, so I keep missing stuff and it keeps like you know blipping out and 
I'm still working out all the stuff, so I apologize for all those, like, stuff. Um, it's not very professional, and I do apologize. I really do want to be professional, and I really do want to, uh, strive for that. Um, yeah, so here we are putting the rocks, um, connecting to the other little bit of rock area that's over here. Um, you know, just filling up on the top of the hill. Um, yeah. I actually had to record this. This is my third time recording it, because the other two times it was too short. The other time it was too long. And that was not fun. Um, so here I am just putting in the to get cam. Um, coming in here to see. It is a little bit too uh, high. Um, but I mean, who is going to go into to take it cam? Um, not, no one really. Um, I mean, if you are, then yay for you. <laughs> but I mean, no one really does that. Um, uh, just, um, here I am. <laughs> just put in some palm trees and bamboo shoots and just, you know, pulling it all together. You know, um, making it really feel jungle. Um, also, um... Next episode, you won't be able to see Discord at all. Um, I will finally be able to get rid of that, because I do apologize. I'm trying to improve, and, like, you know, all that little stuff. So, yeah. Um, here I am, just putting in some flowers and some bushes, and... Yeah. Um, this actually does take a lot of time to do, um, and, cause this was about three and a half hours plus of content, um, which results in a pretty hefty, uh, video. Um, and also results in, uh, uh, like, you know, just creating stuff, cause I really do like creating that. Um. Don't know what I was doing there. I was doing something. <laughs> um, oh, I think I was getting mad at my uh, dad. Um, but yeah, so we're just finishing off the area. Not blocking the adventure signs too much because I do not want to block it. I realize that that palm tree is way in the air, way too in the place too much. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so we're just putting some palm trees in. Um, here we go. Putting all the palm trees in the back so it doesn't block it, but still gives that nice adventure land. And it gives that nice manicured, but wild, uh, like, area. Um, sorry if my commentary is bad. I'm, I'm still trying to improve. If you got any suggestions or critique or criticism, please let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know it. Um... But yeah, uh, this rock work is amazing. Um, I'm glad that it's going so well. It just comes around. Um, yeah. Um, um, if you haven't seen it, um, I have started a new series, Halcyon 6 Lightspeed. Um, it's a great video. It's a great, it's a great series I'm starting. It's a great game as well. Um, it's like FTL, so if you like FTL, you probably like Halcyon 6. Um, but yeah, shameless plug there. Ding! Um, but basically, the counter, ding! Um, the deciduous rocks and like the alpine rocks are literally my saviors. They give so much color and they cover up the ground so well, and it's amazing. Um, and yeah. Like, rocks are literally, like, my, like, calling card or whatever. Um, I don't know what you would call it. Um, you would call it a card. Um, but, yeah. Um, I really do like how this area turns out. Um, it's very beautiful. Um, has a lot of ambience, or ambience. Um, a lot of character, lots of, uh, adventure, Feeling adventure, uh, jungle, you know, very wild, um, uh, you know, out there, and you know what I mean? It's just, it's a really cool, like, part of the park. 
because I really feel like it ties this entire area together. Um, and I still need to work on the vent, uh, entrance area and still need to get that done. So, yeah. Here, here you can see a little bit of the lighting, as you won't be able to see any cinematics for it, as I do apologize. Um, I won't be lighting up the bushes area because, um, actually I might. I'm going to probably go back in there because it is a high budget park. So it will, will want to, uh, you know, put in all the, you know, fancy lights to, you know, give it that spruce, um, but even, like, Universal doesn't really light up every single bush and light and tree and, you know, everything. Because, you know, that's just a waste of money. And it's, you know, it's good to just see darkness. Um, it's not always good to see brightness. Um, I don't know if that made any sense. <laughs> but, I, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, here we are coming on to the final stretch of the video. Um... You know slowly finishing up and I really do hope you guys enjoyed um, again thank you guys for all the support um, the f like like everything I've, I've done is amazing I've gotten so much support from all the communities um, and thank you um, I do want to give special thanks to geekism for inspiring me to do this um, uh, if you're watching geekism I don't know if you will um, uh, but yeah, th this episode is sort of like, you know, dedicated to you. I don't know. Um, it'd actually be very funny if I can ask, I'll ask him. Um, but I would love to, uh, uh t t take his face and make it into a statue. But next, I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, so yeah, see ya.